The Maharashtra State ATS has arrested the director of DRDO's research and development establishment, and he has been booked under the Official Secrets Act for indulging in wrongful communications with Pakistan-based intelligence operatives. The high-ranking official has worked on several strategically significant projects of the DRDO, including Agni Road and Rail Launchers, Indo-Israeli MRSAM, Mission Shakti Anti-Satellite Missile, the Near Bay Cruise Missile, BrahMos Missile, Prahar Missile, QR SAM and XR SAM Missile Program, and Akash Ground and Mobile Systems. He was in contact with Pakistan-based operatives through voice messages and video calls from September 2022, and suspected to have shared some sensitive information with the operatives. The deputy chief of the Air Force has said that the acceptance of necessity for the 114 MRFA program will be issued within the next three to four months. Latest reports indicate that France is now trying to turn the MRFA tender into a government-to-government -government deal, and the aim is to reduce delays and establish a second production line in India, which would further boost the export potential of the Rafale to other markets, and alleviate massive pressure on the French production line. Interestingly, the US administration is well aware of the French attempts to convert the MRFA tender into a government-to-government -government deal, and in response, the US has started preparing a counter-offer for its F-35A. Alpha Defense has reported that the improved Sun standoff anti-tank missile is all set to enter limited series production for user trials with the Army, that features an improved propulsion and enhanced millimeter wave seeker, and the upgraded variant has a range of 20 kilometers. The missile features both lock-on after launch and lock-on before launch capabilities, that provides greater flexibility and adaptability in a variety of combat situations. The DRDO developed UAV launched precision guided missile has completed all developmental trials, under which it demonstrated its capability of targeting both stationary and moving targets in complete autonomous mode. The next phase of trials is scheduled to take place later this year, after which it will start production by Adani Defense in 2024. The CEO of Embraer Defense has said that if requested, the C-390 aircraft can be easily converted into a flight refueling aircraft for the Indian Air Force, by equipping an air-to-air -air refueling system installed under its wing pods. The Indian Air Force is looking to procure a medium role transport aircraft with local manufacturing in India under transfer of technology agreements, and the Air Force is considering to use the same platform for flight refueling aircraft and OACs. The Indian Army has concluded a month-long integrated surveillance and firepower training exercise in the recently operationalized longest high-altitude artillery ranges of Eastern Theatre. The exercise involved synergized application of surveillance and firepower capabilities of the artillery and the infantry, in close coordination with Special Forces Aviation and Central Armed Police Forces in two districts of Arunachal Pradesh. Thank <laughs> you.